bring the keyboard a little bit closer. Why does it seem like that's incredibly loud still? Yeah, it seems like it's incredibly loud still, even though on my oh, uh, probably isn't. Oh well, that's another thing to worry about its entirety. God, how do you play? How do you stream again? Help, help, Scooter! Help, Boo Boo Baby Scooter! He does not know how to stream. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mill about talk. You what? <laughs> Sorry, just a moment of disbelief. Man, this is so weird. I haven't had a weird rush like this. Also, forgive me if I look incredibly tired. I am. I've had this is like a weird rush to me because like I haven't touched, I haven't like done streaming in like what is it, three, four months at this point. I feel so weird just to like be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna stream today. kind of vibe from the, I'm just I guess I'm just waiting for folks to come in so also we get to enjoy this music you can enjoy this music for a moment while I wait I say wait also I suppose I should get the uh, piece of resistance that I use as my bargaining chip to have people come back Hurt. Ah. where do I go with this Up here. I really did just buy a whole bunch and said, "Well, you know what? Why not? Why not make that the centerpiece of my of my first or my first time streaming in like several months?" Pokemon. That's a Butterfinger. Hi, Ashley. Well, I suppose, instead of just sitting here staring at the title screen and having it roll by another two times, well, actually, I could probably just wait till the top of the hour. That folks roll in who are available. I did start play. I did start up. I did start up the stream basically right at peak. I'm at work hours, so I'll wait a minute. Oh God, yeah. It's just like it has been too long since I decided to boot the stream. Boot up the stream box. Annunciation, please. But hey, the boy is here. The boy is here on your preferred streaming platform of choice. Mixer. Dot <laughs> okay, terrible joke. Terrible joke. If you can call it a joke. That's actually kind of a funny thing. Okay, not trying to flex, by the way. But this is kind of this is actually kind of funny. Where, like, the day I was like, oh, the, there was a day where I was like, you know what? I'm gonna upgrade some streaming equipment. I was, I was like, I'm gonna upgrade some stream equipment because you know I have the I have the lucrative funds to be able to do that kind of thing. I bought a camera that has 60 FPS, uh, 60 FPS, uh, you know, capturing capabilities. Te you know, the whole beautiful 1080p, 60 FPS webcam. And then two streams later, I I stopped streaming for a good couple months. Oops. Also, okay.
Monkey. Big monkey game. <laughs> But brain brain goes back to the DKC anime. You may spank it once. Anyway, my awesome jokes aside, how me play a little bit of this game? Uh, all right, be consent to it. Haha. How? That's how you skip it. So we're just gonna play cat you know we're just gonna talk we're just gonna play catch up for today because I'm in a weird mental space normally I would be asleep but because of the summer heat I can't sleep I'm running on like a, I'm running on an energy drink at about four hours of sleep and that's been my last three days so I'm probably gonna be nonsensical as I talk too but hey let's just let's cut the fluff let's just have fun playing this game which, if you never have played this game, if you don't know this game, or don't know about Hollow Live, which that's fine, I, don't, I guess it's fine if you don't know about Hollow Live. Uh, it's based off another game called Vampire Survivors. That was the basis for this. And then KU decided, hey, what if I made a what if I made a Hollow Live fan game that's based off of Vampire Survivors? So this is free. This game, three hundred percent free. Free. You can play it right now. I've actually been thinking about shooting a quick donation off to KU and be like, hey, thanks for making that. But anyway. <sighs> so, I should say, there's also like, I have a secondary objective why I play this because you can get additional characters in the game. And I, 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 I mean, I want some. So I've been rolling on this one a lot, trying to get Sana. So, I have a second. I have a secondary m alternative. Also, because I haven't streamed in a while. Hey, how's the audio balancing? Is it too quiet? Is it too loud? Am I too quiet? Am I too loud? Because I guess who hasn't streamed for like five months? Anyway, so I will say. I beat the stage version, the stage mode of this game with Fauna, but Mumei's kind of ridiculous. Especially considering I've gotten like five duplicates of her at this point, so Mumei. And we're just gonna play endless mode. Now at some point if the uh, at some point if the uh, game if the game music is a little grating or if you don't like it, I'll I'll go ahead and I'll turn on a uh, OC remix stuff so we can have different music to listen to. So I will say, like, um, because again, I haven't talked to you guys in some time. Oops, failed. I haven't talked to you folks in some time, so, uh, mm, it starts. I haven't talked to you folks in some time, so I guess let's just have a little bit of life update because that's usually what I use Twitch for. I just kind of talk about my life outside of, you know, the somewhat relevant things I can mention while I do YouTube stuff. Um... I have lived on th on third. Sh I basically am a third shift boy. Like, my my life is all third shift at this point. Uh, you gotta love streaming, don't you? I have a fix. Give me a second. <laughs> I just saw the green screen slowly turning towards me out of the corner of my eyes. Like, oh, god damn it, here we go. Anyway, I have a fix for it. We're good now. Um, yeah, so I have moved over to... I have moved over to third shift for my work, my 9 to 5 job uh, now. So, like, I, I see the sun rise... I see the sunrise, and when I see the sunrise, that means mm, I should be thinking about going to sleep. And I see the sun set when I wake up from when I wake up from sleeping. So, in other words, the fuck is the sun? Ah, kick it, kick my butt! Oh, I actually killed a lot of them with that. We'll need friend.
But yeah, so working third shift, like a lot of people, here's the thing I will say. Working third shift, it really, yeah. Hello, Zeno. Uh, working third shift is, it's not a terrible thing, I will say. It's not terrible. But I will also tell you that, you know, because you working third shift and almost everybody that you have as a friend is probably working first or second shift, making plans with your with your friends is pretty much not non-existent. Uh, we'll need spider cooking. I haven't gotten... Ooh, I did not get civilization yet. Oops. Also, I want to get to that anvil. Ah, uh, shoot. Ah, boy, I'm going to start getting my butt handed me. I still want the anvil, though. Uh, more cycle axe. But yeah, like, third shift is not a terrible... Or, is not terrible. It just sucks if you're trying to make plans with people that aren't also third shift people. That being said, it it's actually a lot of times it's oddly, you know, it's oddly calming, so to say. Like to get off of your shift for me at seven in the morning. To get off your shift at seven in the morning. Uh I do need Did I get spider cooking? I did not get spider cooking yet. Oh. And more feathers. It is it is actually kind of nice to get off of work at 7 in the morning and go to your grocery store that just opened. Go to your grocery store choice that just opened and have there be like five people in the entire store, not including the... Well, actually in some cases, including the, the employees. Like, it's very calming. It's so nice. Uh, more friend. Also, I should mention, this is endless mode, so we'll probably be here a while while we do this. And as I did say, I did say this on Twitter, but I know not everybody follows me on Twitter. I'm well aware. Um, yeah, I know not everybody follows me on Twitter. But as I said, at some point here, arbitrarily, randomly throughout the stream, and with no professionalism whatsoever, with no professionalism whatsoever, I'll, I'm gonna open up some Pokemon, uh, some Pokemon cards. I saw a bunch of like, I say grocery store of choice. It was a Walmart. At my local Walmart, there were a bunch of tins and like collectible things there that I've got right here. I'll just pull up one. There are a bunch of like tins and stuff there, and I was just like, you know, I haven't opened up Pokemon cards, and I can use this kind of like my bargaining chip to return back to streaming for the first time in like five months. So, heck with it. Let's 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 do the thing. So, I've got whatever the heck the Hisuian set is, this one, this one tin of Pokemon Go set, and they had a bunch of the Elite Trainer boxes for Shining Fates there. So, I've got an Elite Trainer box of Shining Fates sitting right here, too. So, i got cards to open. We're going to open them at some point. And I'm literally just going to be, like, holding... I'm going to, like, open the pack, and then I'm going to hold the pack like this, and we're going to look at it together, like, <laughs> here. So, it'll be super not professional whatsoever. Anyway, time for spider cooking. And I will say, um, half the reason, and thank you for welcoming back to streaming, I do enjoy it when I do get around to it. I just didn't have a drive for a long time. I just did not have the want to stream. For some, for whatever reason, I did not have the want to stream. But now, I you know. Today, I just like, I want to stream. I missed it. I wish to stream. Oh, I was stuck behind a, I was stuck behind a cross. I was like, why am I not moving? Yeah, I just like, no, nah, I'm gonna stream today. Butts to everything else. I'm a stream. I'm a streamer. I'm a do a stream a streaming box streamer thing. Friend, throw things. Thank you, friend. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oddly enough, like from what I haven't played as everybody in this game yet, but I will say from what I have played. Oh, ooh, laggy. What I have played of as Mume. Uh, you, oddly enough, she's one of the few characters I would say upgrade her uh, main attack weapon as far as possible, as fast as possible. Because, yeah, right now I do have to aim. That won't be the case in due time. Oh, uh, right. Giant taco. Also taco. Also wall of taco. Guys, help the tacos are getting close. Tacos. Tacos got cookies. The tacos got the, the tacos stole my cookies. 
The game is fun. It's kind of mindless, but the game is fun. Uh, how many... How much money did I get, by the way? Oh, not even close. Oh, yeah, actually, that was, I actually did get to... Uh, there's no achievements. I did get to... In my first endless run, I actually did get to, I actually did get the 30 minutes with Mume. And that was my only time but that was my only endless run, so. A lot of times I had been playing a lot of as uh uh Calliope when I've been playing this game, but my first clear of story of the st of the stage base was actually with Fauna. So I haven't played as in this game or I haven't played as Ina, Gura, or Amelia. Or Ami, however you want to say it. Also, I'm just thumbing through the names. I like for everybody in, in Myth, we all, like, we uh, collectively. I like how collectively, like, as the community who, who uh, co you know, talks about Hollow Life, we we're all like, oh yeah, you know, uh, Kali, Ina, Kiara, Gura, Ami gets her, is the only one where we, where we refer to her by her first name. We don't say Watson. <laughs> It's also the same with Myth, oddly enough. <laughs> Ame, the only member of Hollow Live EN where it's just like, nah, it's Ame. It's not Watson, it's Ame. <laughs> uh, just because, I don't know if anybody has it, but I'm actually going to use Fauna. Cause, just because I can actually one-hand this game. Just because her weapon is... It, her weapon is... Is leaf is uh you know leaf blade or leaf shield wood shield there we go whatever you want to say it Mega Man Me it's Mega Man I do like this weapon but her build is like basically her build her build is actually very much uh but uh make uh build healing and then just get movement speed to get to healing faster it'll make sense in due time trust me. Just gotta actually get saplings unlocked for, uh, as well. I did pick endless. I hope I picked endless anyway. I would feel real stupid if I pick stage again. But yeah, I suppose I should say like we can talk about anything about this game really. Oh, now it makes sense. By the way, Zeno, it makes it makes sense. Your thing about level six Mume makes sense. I'm I'm level four Mume. But then again, I haven't played this game a whole lot, so, uh, Guardian Tree, no, I won't, where did my healing go? I guess it's Whisper time. Yeah, gonna take damage, gonna take damage. Yeah, I haven't been keep, I suppose there is a, uh, an account on Twitter I should be following that's actually, like, straight up a fan, uh, that is straight up a fan, uh, interaction account, so to say, if that makes sense. Oh, sapling's good. Also, passive healing counts for this build for this build for uh, Fauna. So, like the uh, re restore X amount, or uh, restore like one percent health every couple of seconds thing you can get from like the overall character buff stat thing that counts towards uh towards that towards this. Anyway, sapling. Uh, pick no, this doesn't help. Uh, guardian tree level two. And maybe after I do uh, do a run with Fauna, because I feel like Fauna is probably like the easiest character to play as, but also I don't know. Fauna feels like the easiest character to play as in the game. That's just me though, because I feel like I've kind of mind's eye figured out how to play how to play her. Uh, well, that's the thing. Uh, that's the thing actually. I actually do want to do an LP of DK64. But I want to do some shorter games for a little while here. It's also Coco time. Good morning, motherfuckers. Anyway. Uh, I do actually want to do an LP of DK64. But I have done so many, like, long game. I've done... I've just... Like, I actually just finished up recording all of... Uh, there we go, more sampling. I just re finished up uploading all of Age of Calamity, and that was a long game. I want to do some shorter games before I get back into DK64, which will be a long-ass game again. Ooh, triple. I got the triple. Because, like, I have shown. 
at the start of the stream. Do have the game right here. Funny monkey game. Uber Sheep. Oh, yeah. Uber Sheep's definitely part of this build. I might actually take... Uh, I actually might reject the sake, being, being honest. If not taking damage, for, yeah, because even though, actually no, it does. It actually does work with uh, Fauna's build because Whisper basically negates a bunch of damage. I'll take it. Tui is going to be a bit of a harder ask because here's the thing. Okay, I don't know what this is. I have bought Tui on my Xbox 360. Also, sorry, this is just messing with me. I have an element selected on my uh, Streamlabs, and it's like I'm clipping into it. I have bought Tui. I bought Kazooie and Tui on my Xbox 360 ages ago. And when I did an LP of Banjo Kazooie, I did the 360 version. For some reason, I can't log into my Xbox Live account anymore. Minus the fact I canceled my Xbox Live Gold like five years ago. But I can't log into my Xbox Live account. So I don't have access to my Banjo Tui. And now that I've moved. It's doubled up because now my Xbox is being weird. Like, uh, hey, here's this Wi-Fi connection. And you entered the password into it properly. But we forgot what the Wi-Fi connection is. So can you find the Wi-Fi connection again? And it's this back and forth. And I just, I cannot connect. So I basically have no way to play Banjo 2 right, right now. Unless I decide to go out and buy a N64 cartridge of Banjo 2. Which, that's not going to be cheap. Because Banjo 2 is like a holy grail of a game for the N64. Anyway, uh, no, no, oh, I need to click back inside the game. Uh, nightly milk, nah, we don't need that right now anyway. More whisper. Uh, yeah, let's go bonkers. Let's get the tree, let's get the tree guardian. Let's just get a bunch of sap sapling going out. Look at the mm, damage. Mm, damage. Uh, full meal, not exactly necessary, actually, at this point. Like, actually, with how the build I do with Fauna is I don't need full me me uh, full heat full meal because you don't need with full you don't need full healing. You just need to heal. Full stop. Up. Oh. Books. It's book time. Okay. Bad taco. Alright, she gets a speed boost when she picks up a sapling. I forgot about that. Also, at any point, if... Uh, the, I know that the music is actually kind of slapping, which I hope you can hear decently, but the music is slapping for this, but if you get tired of this loop, because we'll be hearing this loop a lot if we're playing this game, if you guys get tired of this loop, I can just I can actually go ahead and kill the games the uh, game music and go ahead and uh, boot up uh, the OC Remix video game music uh, archive I got. Oh hey, Uber Sheep, Uber Sheep delivered. Uh, sure, more sapling. Okay, the funny thing is, I actually have a physical copy of Conqueror's Bad Fur... Yeah. I have a couple copies of Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Ugh, I need to get out of that mess. Uh, yeah, I have a couple... Oh, it's time for this. I have a couple... I have... Let me look. Do I have... I think I've got a copy of the N64. Let me check something really quick here. Just to make sure I'm not spitting false prophecies. As you can see, my butt from off screen. These are all games I'm going to play at some point in the future. That was weird. Well, that's the thing. Let's give me that in a minute. So, I do have a physical copy of, of uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day 
here. I also have live and reloaded that's just sitting over there, but because I have not, but because I haven't bought the official Xbox, um, we'll call it uh, removable hard drive. Because I haven't bought the official Xbox 360 removable hard drive, I am not allowed to play certain Xbox, original Xbox games on my Xbox 360. And Live and Reloaded is one of those games. For some reason, arbitrarily, you can't play it on the Xbox 360 unless you buy their removable hard, their USB removable hard drive. But I do have, it is down here in this mess. Yes, it is. I think I've shown this off before. I did buy a replay, one of these uh, Warrior. What brand is this, by the way? Intech Gaming. Yeah, these Warrior N64 controllers. Which basically gets rid of the weird middle dongle on the N64 controllers and gives you an extra Z button up top. Like as somebody with very large hands, this is actually a really nice controller. The only issue is how I hold it. My left middle finger clips against the expansion pack port on the back. Otherwise, this is like a fantastic controller. It just that if you're gonna play something that requires the D-pad for movement, you kind of have to say marry your thumbs together so to say that's the only downside of this controller but no. so like i bought this controller because i'll get back to the game now now that i'm done flexing my collectibles where did i put that oh it's right there um because i actually i actually had bought or i actually had conquer's bad fur day a long time ago too i i've had it for a while but I could never get past the uh, carrying the beehive bit of the of the start of the game, because I straight up, um, straight up could not move fast enough to get away from the bees in that segment. Because I have been holding, because thanks to my many years of playing Ocarina of Time and other N64 games, where holding forward is the only way to play, I had warped the control stick on my on my first N64 controller so bad that my for, that my straightforward movement speed was about. 80% movement speed. Yeah, taco. Tacos. Bad taco. Oh, God. I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I'm a die. Oh, I'm a die. Thank you forever. Oh. Oh, bugger. Oh, kabang. El kabong. Hey, thanks. Hey, super, thanks, super sheep. Oh, good. And hope is here. Ha <laughs> ha. Hope is here. I'm a die. <laughs> Uh, not pick up range. Yeah, keep leveling up the leaves. How did I? How was this my first story win? By the way. Tree, I need tree. Uh, lava bucket. Tacos! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those wasps. Like, at, again, at the very start of the game, effectively. Uh, no, no. Why? Why do I actually... Why am I actually not allowed to have more stuff? I feel like the game is... The game's okay. Oh, good. I have to feed the big taco. Really? They will not give me... They will not level, level up my leaf anymore. Weird. Uh, I guess pickup range. So yeah, right now, if I were to play Banjo Tooie, the main the main goal of playing Banjo Tooie, or the main way I play Banjo Tooie, unless somehow I can get my Xbox 360 connected to the internet finally, is gonna be to find and buy a copy of the N64 version. And at some point, and again, at some point, I would like to play it. I'm not saying I don't want to play a game. It's not fun. No, no, no. The game's having fun. Oh, tree time. It's time for tree. Ah, it begins. We have axe and book. It's time it's time to level those up as well. Everybody get away. Yeah. 
Yeah, shrimps. Oh, good. And now Bubba's here. Great. I love it. I hate it. I love it. Thanks, Yagusan. Ah! Oh, hey, box. Uh, more axe, more leaf shield. I want to fully upgrade the leaf shield because it actually becomes a uh, much better weapon to use. Oh, I got tripled. Nice. Okay. Jet Force Gemini. Jet Force Gemini, I don't have, and I don't know if I'll ever get because it's... It seems like it was that game by Rare Word, so it's like, on a, on a technical scale, it is a masterpiece on a technical scale. But everything put together is an abysmal abomination. <laughs> like, all the parts... It, okay, I hate that I'm making this equation. It's like Sonic 06. All of the parts together should make this fantastic game. Garbage game. <laughs> Uh, more, okay, more elite buckets. I left, okay, I did leave room for spider cooking. Ah, shrimp, shrimp! And I own Goldeneye, and I, I own Goldeneye uh, on N64. But that's all, but Goldeneye on N64 is very much like a, uh, it's it's kind of like a product of its time, oddly enough. Get the costume. Oh, it's time for a tree. It's kind of a product of its time. Like, it's not bad. I'll say that much. Like, it, it was, it became, it was kind of like how Counter-Strike Source was the gold standard for a lot of stuff for a while. Hello, Koi. Er. I know your other name. Sorry, it's been so long since the last stream, I don't remember what your, what your other name is from Charles' server, so my apologies. But much like how Counter-Strike became, like, the blueprint for all competitive first-person shooters, still, N64, like, Goldeneye is the blueprint for all competitive first-person shooters for consoles. So while I may not necessarily enjoy the game myself that much, I do understand that that game is like is what's a necessity so to say for it's a necessity in the in the in the eyes of gaming anyway, oh i lost whispers i lost stacks of whisper tree help oh no ang angry angie tacos guys there's angie tacos i don't know how to i don't know how to process this angie taco spider cooking yes okay the build's coming together the AoE build is coming together. Ah, big deadbeat, big deadbeat, big deadbeat, big deadbeat. I need, bo I need burger. I need tree. Can I have tree? Deadbeat said no tree. Ha! I walked right through that and somehow lived to tell a tale. Run, running away. Sapping, sapling, 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 living, living to tell the tale, living to tell the tale. Tree time. It's tree time. It's, it's tree time. It's sapling time. Tree time. Uh, it's dying time. Might be dying time. Ha! Oh, bad day, bad day, bad day. Bad day. Also, I'm okay. Good. My mouse hasn't been on screen this whole time. Good. All right. Main menu. Shop. I don't have enough. Uh, I should do this. Oh, I still don't have enough. Okay. We save money. Uh, it's, it's, it's Cali time. Which, okay, I will say, if you guys do enjoy the music, the, uh, this is the one I want. Uh, if you do enjoy the mu the, uh, two or three tracks for this game... There is actually a, uh, what you want to call it? There is actually an, uh, the guy who made this music, along with, uh, KO, K, KU's approval to do as much, put this, put out the, uh, OST for this available on YouTube to listen to, uh, put out the OST for you folks to listen to, for, or for all folks to listen to, yes, put all the folk, uh, put out the OST so you can listen to it. So, if you like the music, which I do like the song a lot, 
I have been sent a Discord message. Uh, granted, I'm in the middle of a run, so we'll wait for an upgrade or something, and then I'll see what you sent. All right, I. Bad luck, folks. Okay, good. Crit happen. Oh yeah, I did actually just. Uh, there we go. Uh, workaholic. Um. I did just get the. Uh, I haven't played as Cali yet with the, the specials unlocked, so I have never activated this skill. I've never activated her special skill, so we'll find that out together. Uh, okay, spider cooking. We're starting to get all the pieces. I keep forgetting to check your message. It's time for the Reaper to sw go swinging. Oh, wait, that kind of was a crit. Hey, Lamau. Uh, the wall doesn't know how to function without all of its acting pieces, I see. Ah, I see. Not a hold, though. <laughs> okay, now that I remembered. Uh, let me look at what we got here, because... Oh, that's not bad. Um... Well, I don't have the original. I feel weird. I see what you sent me, and I feel weird not owning the original, but owning the sequel. Ah, whatever. I can always buy the se I can always buy the, the first game at some point. Let me let me do it. This is something I've never done, by the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Let me go buy something live. You you have my address. I don't. Yeah, you know what. I've never bought something live, but I don't know if I will actually uh, do this in the future. Also, oh wait, I have it set up in just such a way. Uh, yeah, you won't see this window that pops up because I actually have things set up per perfectly fine on my end. Yeah, this is like the first time I've ever done something. It's like I'm just gonna buy something live on stream. Lol. Arigato gozaimash. And that is in my cart and ready to roll. Um, what I will do, because I did see it at one point, is I'm going to favorite something just for myself in the future if I feel like it. Because I may also buy the N64 cartridge of the first Banjo-Kazooie, but I don't have a want for that at the moment because I don't have a want to buy it right now because I feel like... Because with the Let's Play I had of it out on the internet, I don't feel a need to have the original Banjo-Kazooie at this point. Anyway, now that we're done having a moment where I just buy stuff live on stream. Uh, level 2 Spider Cooking, more Workaholic, more Book. I think it might, I think it might be time for more Book. Let me pull... Let me pull. Yeah, I, do, I, I like how I said, oh, I should maybe get the headphones, and then I just straight up said, but more book. I don't have, the, I don't even have the Psycho Axe yet. More book, though. KO! Uh, I do have Elite, elite Lava Bucket, though. So there's things in this game, which I don't know if anybody who has played this game knows of it, or but nobody has played this, I, I can tell you now. There are ways to combine certain items together. And, they, and the game very coyly calls calls it collab, but basically the item has to be max level. Uh, uh, not idle costume, nurse's horn. Triple? Nah, dang, no triple. Da -da -da. More lava bucket. More elite English lava bucket. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. I be I've, I have I have discovered the hollow live brain rot. Or I guess the V2 or Brain Rot. Whatever you want to call it. It's Brain Rot. Yes. Well, it looks like it looks like a pizza egg. I mean, it's pixel art style. You can only do so much with a pixel art style. That being said, it's fine. It's Elite Miko Lava Buckets. Ah, Psycho X time. So I have... So, uh, can I pause and see? Okay. So those two items, those, I guess, four, way up there. 
So those four items together, basically those items that are next, those two items that are next to each other, basically items two and three and items uh, four and five, those can be collabed together to make a new item that's dummy strong. Which is why I like rush those, because I know those are two of the collabs in the game, or two of the com com combination items in this game. And I've gotten both of them once. Taco time. Which I will say, okay. I know, I know almost, I shouldn't say everybody, I know a lot of people probably, fo probably follow KU to some extent, the person who put this game together. Uh, KU, very good, very, did a very good job at this game, with making this game, and also is a fantastic artist. So if you like, if you like, if you are somebody looking for a good artist, you know, follow KU. Just, uh, to put it lightly, KU is a, draws a lot of personality, you know, some very, Respectable anatomy, we'll say. But they're also an industry artist, so they know what they're doing. Actually, they, actually, if you scroll through Ku's timeline, you actually see like some works they've done in animes. So like they're they are an industry artist and animator. But they came off their freelance work like they came off their freelance work earlier this year. And now the, and then like the thing they did after the freelance work was done, it's like, you know what? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a fan game because they love playing this vampire game and I think it's cool. Uh I I don't think I still want my crit. Because I think the scythe works off of crit. Does the scythe work off of crit? I don't remember anymore, actually. Okay. Uh okay, we need to do this. Bad taco. Bad taco. Bad taco. Bad tacos. Bad tacos. Oh, I picked up an all. Cool. Uh, more spider cooking. Uh, ha 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 ha. Circle, get closer. Oh, good. An, an opening. <laughs> okay, got the box. Get the box. Um, more book. More box. Bots and Kaidos. Okay, I've heard of Bots and Kaidos in the past. I know it's a game. Yeah, um, I was gonna come back to that. I'll come back to it in a second, actually. So, Botan Kaidos, I had a thing, I think I had a friend who had it in high school who had it, he bought it, he played it all the way through in like a weekend, and then he sold it. But I remember I remember like I wasn't super interested because in it, it was card based. And I find the and here's the irony of that is like one of my favorite GameCube games is Lost Kingdoms. A game where you use cards as your main method of combat, but not probably in the same vein as Botan Kaidos. Anyway, so the NSO thing, this. So here's the thing about the NSO. I have the base plan just so I can play online games when I want to. I have the $20 plan so I can play online if I want to. I don't have... I don't have the expansion pack because I would like to... Like, if I, if I ever decide that I no longer want to have the online plan, I still want my DLC for my games. So, a lot of the DLC they offer through the expansion plan, like if I say I don't want my online service anymore or I want to downgrade, there goes all that DLC, I'll have to, re I'll have to rebuy all that DLC. And that being said, a lot of the DLC they're offering, at least Animal Crossing, I don't have any, I don't have any interest in Animal Crossing. Z Zil, Nilch, Nada. Zero. So there's already one deal. There's already one uh, DLC that's part of the NSO expansion that I don't want. And from what I've heard, I could be an old man that's wrong. I'm I'm willing to be told I'm wrong. But from what I've heard from friends and others is that the N64 games on NSO are garbage. As in, there is sound delay. Input delay, there's delays all over the place, and it doesn't run at full FPS in some scenarios. So, take me being cautious as, you know, take me take my cautiousness with a grain of salt, because I could be wrong in this. Okay? But, from what I've heard about that, the fact that there's a lot of N64 games that I would rather just have the one game, because... We'll get on that topic as well. Um, a lot of the N64 game titles don't appeal to me right now uh, on that plan as well. And the Genesis titles mostly fall within that same vein. 
Oh, God, if she knows. I was going to talk about something else that I forgot. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about something else. <whistles> Off my head. Anyway, let me take my elite bucket and run away for, and run for my life. So, the N64 thing. Here's the, here's the thing about the N64. You would think someone of my age range, which... Here, I'll give you a brief synopsis. What my age range is? Old. You would think, given my age, you know, I would be like, Oh yeah, N64, that's the goat. No, actually, no. I'm act I'm weird, like... I'm weird, like, I like, um... Oh, Nightly Milk. Yeah, Nightly Milk for this build, actually. Um... Oh good, Hope's here. Alright, Hope, let's go. Um. Oh got an all pickup, fantastic. Uh more more rapper. So the N64, it there are like a handful of games that are great on the library. Let, let's not let's not let's not discount that to start off with, because I'm not gonna start that flame war today. <laughs> There are some good N64 games, I will not lie. A lot of them, it's kind of like how the Wii was, where there is a bunch of very poorly made shovelware titles. Okay, there's okay, there's tacos from the right. There's a bunch of poorly made like shovelware titles on there and stuff that just does not work or was too ambitious for what the system can do. Me, but in my in my head, what I feel like is so so to, so to say like a quintessential collection of games is the GameCube, and I do and I will also recognize that the GameCube that the GameCube was kind of like the Wii U, where like there was a lot of things promised for it and it undersold in some scenarios, but the GameCube also uh, hold on, I gotta think for a minute. More nightly milk, screw it. The GameCube also had the GameCube also had a lot of titles and a lot of quality titles. Like shifting through like sifting through that sea of crap, there is a lot of good GameCube titles. Like I just call out Lost Kingdom. Hey, guess who made Lost Kingdom? From software. Hey, what do you know from software from? They make Dark Souls. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at my art, my uh, GameCube collection over here while I just called some titles. By the way, oh yeah, GameCube has Luigi's Mansion, arguably probably one of the best games made in like the last two decades. <laughs> There's also Toadstool Tour, which is still one of the best Mario Golf games. Still, after all this time, still one of the best Mario Golf games. Sega tried expanding its roster of Sega tried expanding its roster of things, so to say. It tried expanding its roster of um, characters, mascots, with Billy Hatcher, which is a good game. Weird as hell, but a good game. A lot of Dreamcast games made their way to the GameCube because the GameCube was equal or better than the Dreamcast in every aspect when Sega went under in the console wars. Like there is, uh, there and there's good and there's good uh, 007 games on the GameCube as well. Like really good ones. I have I have very fond memories of playing uh, of playing uh, Age Under Fi yeah Age Under Fire, the multiplayer for Age Under Fire for hours, for hours in a weekend, as much time as I could with my brother playing just nonstop Age Under Fire multiplayer, because there were so many weird modifiers. I 100%ed Age Under Fire. Which had like, which had like basically Easter egg levels of find the hidden collectibles in the levels. Oh, by the way, you could only find the uh, the hidden collectible Easter egg level of hiding th things on the hardest difficulty too. I 100%ed Agent Under Fire growing up. And what's your and what's the reward for completing that game in that aspect? You get to dual wield seven bull. Uh, 
seven mag seven bullet magazines i guess you could call it. i don't know what the proper term is it's seven bullet magazine golden guns you get to dual wield 14 14 round go uh, golden guns with 200 uh reserve ammo you basically get to one shot the entire game for 100 percenting the game as well as a bunch of multiplayer modifiers like jetpacks and big head mode and fast movements and all this other crazy stuff Like, I will say that, like, when it comes to, like, the GameCube probably has a better library when it, compared to the N64. And again, I, I come back to this and say, you would think, oh, as an old man who whose prime of his life was in the N64 period, I should actually be liking the, uh, uh, rapper. I, I should be liking, you know, I should be enjoying, uh, what you call it? I should be the ones that's like, nah, NC4, best library available. Nah. GameCube. GameCube's the best. Ooh, Anvil. Uh, I have not upgraded my scythe at all. Oops. But I do want to get, um, I do want to upgrade my, I do want to upgrade this. Ugh. Oh, I'm, I'm aiming up with my scythe. Haha. 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 Funny Reaper go, funny Reaper go brr. Oh. Hey, Ashley. Um. I don't know if you've had an interest in or have watched it, the uh, VR chat videos. I think I've told you about it. In VR chat, there are a couple. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up that character's last name. Uh, Yuma Tatsuto or Tatsu uh, Totetsu. There are a couple models for Go Goat Katoho girl you love so much. There's a couple avatars of her. So I'm telling you that. Hey, we haven't had that one in a while. Uh, I have to get, get behind the pile of boxes, by the way. I hope you heard that. Thank you, Koi. Also, Koi, you will probably have to remind me of what your other name is, because I think I called you that before. I think I was calling you by your other username, unless you prefer Koi. Wait, you're Dr. Memer. Haha, -ha, Bringo Burr! Like okay, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna wheel back to the conversation I just got off of because I was like okay I'm off my soapbox now nah, I never left my soapbox, so more book. Um. Oh, big deadbeat, big deadbeat. Give me the fuck out of here. <laughs> um. What is it? The uh, oh, perfect. Uh, more. Let's see. More axe because I haven't gotten a lot of axe. Oh, uh, so I will say like in terms of like what is some of the best when it comes to uh, man I have none of this yet I don't want to get any other weapons yet but I guess if I have to get Coco time hey triple up um in terms of what are like some of the best gaming libraries Nintendo speaking Nintendo specifically speaking because I am a Nintendo baby Nintendo specifically speaking some of the best some of the best video game libraries are in order. I'm going to say the Nintendo DS, specifically the Nintendo DS, then GameCube, then Super Nintendo. Actually, no. Super Nintendo is number four. The Switch. The Switch is tied for second with the GameCube. These are full of Switch titles. This doesn't count my, my, this does not count my downloaded titles. These are all full of physical switch cartridges. The switch has games. <laughs> okay, I had to get my bearings back. Okay, I had a hill that I, I had a hill that I slightly died on earlier, and I guess I'm going to revisit that topic. So, the one, the singular GameCube title that I feel like kind of falls outside of the realm of what I consider a good GameCube game is, uh, is one that a lot of people have a lot of passion for. Super Mario Sunshine garbage. Like, Super Mario Sunshine actually kind of bad. Mm. 
Actually, that's kind of, that's actually kind of good. Considering what I'm doing right now, it's actually kind of good. Because I am healing from KOs and Kali gets a lot of KOs e easily. Axe. Chimkin! Got the chicken. So now it's a, so now I'm in a race against time. But yeah, like here's the thing. Like if you like Mario Sunshine, please don't let me, an old man of the internet, be the one that like talks you down from your love of a game. Please don't. Please enjoy your games. I'm just I very much understand I'm a I'm an outlier in the in the in the respect of Mario Sunshine garbage. I realize I'm an odd man out. Actually, full meal would be a good idea right now with this build because I've never run I've never run a uh, uh, injection type Asa Coco. Ah, Fubukzilla! I'm that far. Apparently, I'm that far. Fubukzilla is here. Ah, ha, 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 I'm vulnerable. I'm vulnerable and going to die. Oh, good. And I have to dodge Bubba's. Where's Fabukazilla? I killed Fabukazilla already? Ah, my, my scythe has been upgraded. Alright. Increased damage. Yeah, we need increased damage. We need to start, like, focusing hard on, like, melee damage. We need to start, like, upping our overall damage as fast as possible. So I'm gonna need to get all this gold here. Hey, I guess there's that one health because of the build they decided to pick. There's not enough enemies to warrant this build at the moment, by the way. Ah, Chimkin! <sighs> Buy this ban. I'm, ah, I see that hasn't changed. Great. I see that hasn't changed. I was hoping I wouldn't have to deal with that. Uh, we're gonna get more nightly milk. The injection type Asakoko is tempting, but right now I need, I would like more healing potential over damage potential. Okay, I'm healing more than I'm da taking damage, okay. Ah, it's rat time. Rats, rats, we are the rats. <laughs> uh, Bales, why? It's not max level yet. Oh, Elite Bucket Max. Good. It's time for more Bucket. It's also time for more Reaping. So how about you folks? Because I've been talking about myself and got on like really stupid topics on top of it. So what about you folks? Like what's been what's been new with, new with you guys? Because there's actually been... I've actually talked with a lot of you guys in some time just because I was like streaming. Eh, nah. Like, I hope you guys have been well in, like, this four or five month hiatus I've had. I hope you've been doing well. It's always so weird. Like, I think I've actually talked about this at length, too. Just, like, I have this problem where, like, oh, hey, it's crony time. I... I made a pun, my bad. Um, it's, like... As soon as I turn on the stream, my mind turns off and I can actually talk in in real time with you guys. Like, nothing's a problem. But before I stream, I can't do that, man. <laughs> like, my brain's just like, no, you are not allowed to do this. And dodge. I'm not... You cannot do this. Stop trying to stream. Yeah! Oh, dang it. Uh, shoot. Okay. Crony's got a lot of health. The cronies, they have a lot of health. And you can go into as much detail. Like, if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. I understand. Not everybody likes to talk about themselves or their life. Oh, boy. I am going to get myself hit because I am bad at spatial awareness. 
Like, if you don't want to talk about what's been going on with you, I understand. Not everybody likes to divulge all their personal information to a random stranger on the internet. I understand. Ah, good. King Crony. It's like King Crimson, except it works. <laughs> it's time to reap. One more book. Oh, the, the, he's dead. Uh... I've been meaning to play more of the new Mario Strikers, especially now because as of today, pro actually probably circa more like, you know, three or four hours ago, probably more like eight hours ago, uh, Shy Guy got added to the game, and that's my son. My son, Shy Guy. Do be playable. And he's perfectly balanced, as I, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Ooh, money. So I've got at least, okay, this is... I'm jumping subjects here, but I mean Daisy's a nice pl plus for the for the for the five Daisy fans. Okay, I'm kidding. Everybody loves Daisy. Like even people who don't like Daisy like Daisy. But I'm just happy that Shy Guy's there, and he's like perfectly balanced in every single stat. Nothing. He is not out of sync. And that actually would help with how the game has that whole gear system set up, where because of how the gear system is set up, you could... Oh, good. It's time for Q. Uh, because of how the gear system is set up, you could literally... Um, go, bed shrimps, bed shrimps. Um, you could actually have a team that's all shy guys. You have a team that... You can have a team that's all shy guys, and they would all have their own individual stats... They would actually all have their individual, own individual stats and personalities and have a niche of their team beca just because of their gear. Ah, oh, dang, I got hit by a deadbeat. Oh, good, they're coming from this way. So I talked about the art. I talked about... I'm just gonna... Oh, God, tanking through it was a bad idea. Damn it. Um, I talked about the artist and the maker of this game, KU, uh, you know, made this game. Uh, they were also... If you ever want to see their animation work and not be, and not be judged for looking at anatomy uh, look up the music video for this for Mori Calliope and Gargoyle's uh, Q because KU animated that entire music video anyway it's time to, it's time to get disappointed while I while I attempt to roll for sauna it's sauna time yes sauna time There's a the cinnamon bun. There's the cinnamon bun. And now we get more money. <laughs> I got sauna. I got sauna. I'm happy. Sauna. <laughs> okay. I hate how the symbol for her special is just Oki, which means big in Japanese. Well, big. Sana is big. <laughs> anyway. So, I did say I would do this. And this is, like I said, arbitrary time I would do this. Hey. Um, how about we do some Pokemon TC? 